back to Gloss and Sparkle. So what we're going to be talking today about is eyeliner. Now if you guys have watched my channel for a while you know that I love eyeliner and my classic go-to look is the cat eyeliner that I wear every single day almost. And my favorite, favorite eyeliner that I have used for the past maybe two or three years is the e.l.f. Cream Eyeliner. And you guys know this is super duper affordable. So the reason I decided to do this video is because I was talking to a friend of mine and she said, with all of the eyeliners that you get to try and that you purchase and are sent and things like that, how is e.l.f. still your favorite? It's so cheap. And I'm like... Hmm, I don't know. I just I just get stuck on it. I liked it. I stuck with it. And although I have tried a lot of products, no products have just, I don't know, wowed me to the point where I've switched from my e.l.f. I thought about that for a little while and I said, well, you know what? Let me get a different one, something that I know people love and try it out and just see how it works. So you guys probably are all familiar with MAC Fluid Line Gel Liner in Black Track. So I'm actually wearing both products today on my eyes. This side is the Elf Cream Eyeliner and this side is the Black Track by MAC. Now I will show you close-up details when I swatch them on my hand so you can see the application process. So basically with the MAC, as you can see, it's super shiny, super creamy, and I will give it this. On the description on Mac's website, it is supposed to be a soft black color. And it definitely is soft, but I like that intense dark black. So this really, the e.l.f. doesn't really say anything about that. It only calls it black. So, I don't know. As far as longevity, I think that they both last the exact same amount. They're both a good product, but I just like the e.l.f much better because I love the formula, I love the texture, and I love the way it applies. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead and apply the MAC Black Track. So that's one coat, and do you see how it's not fully opaque? You can kind of see a little bit of streakiness, and it's kind of seeing my skin through it right in certain areas. Now let's go in with the e.l.f. So do you see the difference? The e.l.f. was so much darker and in my opinion applied a lot better and I just overall like it better. Now I'm going to go in with a second coat of the MAC right on top. Still a little bit streaky. Let me get a little bit more product. See, it's just now starting to become as opaque as the e.l.f. And that was technically like three applications. Now let me go in again with the e.l.f. So this would be the second coat of the e.l.f. Look at that. Alright, so both of these swatches have been drying for about three minutes. I would definitely say to give them at least five for them to be completely dry. And I think that they're both pretty smudge proof. But just after this three minute mark, let's just see which one holds up better or if they're both about the same. So let's go in and try the e.l.f. one. So I'm going to press pretty hard. And you'll see that it's not really doing anything. Oh, a little bit and then a little bit of transfer there. So that was pretty good after just three minutes. Let's try the MAC. Okay, so what I'm noticing is that the MAC is actually coming right off. It's flaking right off. Oh, not appreciating that at all. But this just kind of gives you an idea of how they wear. Would I rather pay $16.50 for this 
or three dollars for this product um definitely going with the three dollar one so if you guys are looking for an eyeliner and you want to try out gel eyeliner this is not to be compared with like say a marker eyeliner or a liquid eyeliner because these are actually just gels so that's what we're talking about today but as far as cream eyeliner, gel eyeliner, I would definitely recommend the e.l.f. one. It's so much less expensive, and I don't know, I like the formula so much better. So if you have another cream or gel eyeliner that you've been loving, that you think is a great product, please let me know what it is so that I can try it out. Um, because as far as these two, I'm definitely going with e.l.f. on this one. So I hope this was helpful for you and that you enjoyed this video, and I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!